Oof. Oh my heavens. Oof. It's really raining pigs and ponies out there, isn't it? I tell you, it is a mess. I just hope we don't have too much storm damage. Between the donkey triplets and Bessie's bunion ointment, I don't see how we can afford any unexpected expenses. Mm, that poor cow. <laughs> Hello, Camp Wanakiki, where the insects aren't the only things that flicker. <laughs> oh, hi, Dusty Ray. Ooh, is that Ranger Bottoms with the storm damage report? Hi, Sugar Baker twins. I had a date with that Ranger Danger last night. You know the one with the reputation as big as a redwood? <laughs> ooh, it sure was a stormy night. But let's just say it wasn't just the winds that was rocking the cabin. Okay. Mm, okay, but what about camp? Was there any damage from the storm? Well, I tell you, the morning woods in real danger, girls. We got a collapsed wet box over here. Is she still talking about her date with Ranger Danger? <laughs> We're gonna need to erect a nice tight box to keep this wood from getting soggy and going limp. You know, Betty, I'm not really sure. All this talk of tight wet boxes and limp morning soggy wood. <laughs> Ranger Bottoms, are you okay? Or do we need to call a gynecologist? <laughs> Girls, pay attention! The storm knocked out the campfire wood shelters. They're gonna have to be repaired before the next rain or else there isn't gonna be any wood for the campfires. <sighs> but you know, maybe I should see what Ranger Danger's up to later. All this talk about morning wood and wet boxes has me itching for another stormy night. <laughs> Bottoms out. All right, Dusty Ray, good luck with all that. Oh, Cherry, what are we gonna do? We can't afford to hire a carpenter to fix the wood shelters. We haven't even finished paying off the damage from that barnyard social with Camp Hootaho. Hey, I've got an idea. Ooh, and it looks like the rain is letting up. Let's go gather up the campers. Campers. Good morning, Ruthie! This morning you'll be earning your morning wood badge. Oh. Now, 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 don't get that excited. It's not that kind of wood. We're talking about campfire wood, you little perverts. As it turns out, all of the shelters that keep our campfire wood nice and dry all are in dire need of repair. And nobody likes limp, soggy, wet wood. No man. And since we have all this free labor, oh, I mean, can't be volunteers, we've decided to build new ones. And by we, we mean you, of course. Now, we know that you just got out of a team challenge, but for this particular daily camp activity, we are going to separate you into three groups. After all, you can't handle all that morning wood on your own. So to put you in teams, why don't we do an old fashioned count off? One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So all of the ones are one team, all of the twos are another, and the threes are another team. Every group is going to receive a pallet with all the lumber they need to make their very own wood shed. You also have access to tools, nails, and other materials, as well as paints and other embellishments. Why? Because we want you to decorate your wood shed so it's over the top fabulous. Yeah. We will be checking on you throughout the day. You have until lunch to complete this activity. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 campers. Okay, lift this one up, put it back yeah. towards you. Ooh. Up to Ooh. the back. Let's see. That's here. the top. Oh, I love a good top, girl. Nice firm top. Okay. okay yeah, she's nice and firm. Can we spank each other with the wood slats? I've never used a saw before. It makes me a little bit nervous, but I think we'll be able to get through it. Yeah. I think we can. We'll be all right. I think we'll do fine. Persevere. 
morning wood. It is my favorite part of waking up and my favorite part of going to sleep. Day three. So I usually don't like manual labor, but I'm excited to be handling some wood this morning. Hello, mama. We're building a cat house. Mm -hmm. Meow. Girl, we're gonna be selling some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hot pussy, wet pussy, sour pussy. We Girl. got it all. I've never really built anything. I'm much more better at demolition, but you know, <laughs> I guess it's the same process, only backwards. These are the sides. Okay. Teamwork. And make it all my nails broke. Work. Girl. I'm gonna really want to build a deck coming off of it. Build a deck. I know. Yeah, like get some like shingles. You know, yeah, maybe shingles. like some stairs going up. But like, what I, are you I staring mean, at? This is really going wild. This is a way off center. Other way, other way. Okay, no matter. Okay, two, two. Move home. Oh. Ah! Ah! Hateful. Where'd she go? She need to get out of my workplace. She need to get away from my wood. Okay. All right. Let's go on the outside. Oh, okay. So we're gold. Okay. Oh, okay, good. Gold. good, good. Okay, yep, good. Yep, yep. Don't screw me, gal. Right. You ever use a, a a a large object like that with a with a battery, ma'am? Yes. I spell lithium. Thinking. Spell lithium. L i t h i u m. Handy. I don't know if that's right or not. I think I have seven splinters. I think it's flush to the top at the back here. So if you can hold it here for me, I will. I can screw this shit in. Your chicken coop. Sometimes you gotta screw with different techniques. Oh yes, baby. All right. Okay, let's put the front part here. Yeah. Oh, I love the front part. Hi, campers. Hi. Hello. Welcome to our home. How are you guys doing? Well, we are given deconstructed chic with this. Um, it is in progress. Any of you carpentry inclined before this? Or I don't know, some people may think that just because I'm a man, I know more about woodworking than lady folk, but you know, that's a myth. Ooh. These ladies are very strong and very capable of using a drill <laughs> and taking turns. definitely picking up all the strong loads, the big loads around here. Well, muscle. Looking around you, um, you're kind of a little bit behind the other teams. How do you feel no, about that? This is intentional. We want them to feel oh. like we are not that far ahead. Like you're spotting them. You're like some card sharks. Well, I don't I don't mean to put any pressure on you, but um let's no! just see how you're doing. Keep it away from me. Um that's not straight. That ain't straight. This is definitely not straight. Well, I'm going to leave this with y'all. And uh, carry on, just remember, make it fabulous because this is a competition, but it also needs to be functional. Thick wood. Right. Ah! Hello, girls. Hello, Hello. What do you think? Huh. You have your way around some wood. We are we, definitely a wreck. We are so butch, girl. Do you think we just drill? Who, who knows the most about this? Who's kind of doing all of the... Lucy knows her way around a drill. Everybody yes. has their own little their specialty. Oh, okay, I know some wood. My dad is actually a really good carpenter. And we're just gonna keep Viv inside there. Yes. She's just gonna stay in there. She's forever. just in there. She's not no, coming she out. She looks pretty in, in there, so we thought we would just keep her and we'll have her work on our main skills. Now remember, this is a competition, so whoever has the best woodshed is going to be a winner. Yeah. And I have to say, you are doing pretty well compared to the competition. Oh, oh, I All thought right, they were practicing. Girls, keep up the good work. Thank you. you. Let's do one in the back here, and let's move back. Hi, campers. How are you? Hello. Hi. Ooh, how is it going? Well, this cat house is starting to look pussy. Ooh, meow. Absolutely. Oh. Mama, this team has cat scratch fever, and we're working hard. <laughs> well, you do look like you're making pretty good progress compared to the other teams, too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Our pussy power works in three. Have any of y'all done anything like this before, building things? My dad has helped build a lot of decks, and so I've helped with that before. You, so, I'm sorry, did you say did you say deck? Yeah, I like to sit on the deck of the boy, I mean the deck of the bay. Um, <laughs> but it's a good time, it's fun. I build uh, wraparound decks. Ooh. Yes, yeah. uh, from the front to the back. Right, we love to reach around. Yeah, absolutely. There is a can of paint that's open and a tiny paintbrush in it. Um, but yet, there is no paint on the structure. We just ended up reapplying our lipstick. Oh! Absolutely. Does it look that's good? 
Yeah, it looks, yours doesn't look quite red, but you know, you're getting there. You know, paint around the edges. You do know that this is a timed challenge. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And even though you're making good progress on the actual structure, we do want you to make it, you know, campy. Oh, you're fabulous. putting the heat on. You're putting the heat on now. It's just a gentle reminder. <laughs> you have a little bit more to do and not a lot of time. So get back to work. Thank you very much. Pump it, pump it, pump it. I made us bras. Oh, you look so oh, lovely. Oh, girls, lovely. Those are the same size as my nipples. That's oh, so just nice the nipple. This is just the pasty. Oh. <laughs> my job is pretty hands on. I build stuff. Okay. I fix furniture. Gotcha. Um, not in drag. Do people at work know that you do drag? This, yes, this job they do. Awesome. But my last job, they did not. And I, it was definitely a. A conversation that I had with no one. Right, I Because hear I just didn't want to, I was just fear of what people would say or. When I finally did come out, like it was something that, um, I don't know if it pushed a lot of people away, but it made a lot of people uneasy because like in the dressing rooms and things, like I was still the same person, but it didn't matter because there was something so different about me now. They knew? Once, once they found out that I started to do drag, it started to change a lot of my relationships with those people. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for the kitty girls to get an off of this. Meow. Uh. <laughs> I splattered again. Sometimes. Uh. Oh yeah, you want to take a little small paintbrush and do some eyes on the kitty cat? Yeah. I love that girl. I love that. Make them wink. I like the nitty gritty. You know. Great. All right. Wait, I'm gonna give you need a detail brush. Do we have yeah. our Do we have our letters for cat house over there? Oh, they, okay, over I'm there. gonna screw those on because we gotta get that okay. done. You gotta be more careful with the wood. It's like that kitty poster. Hang in there. Hang in there, girl. That's. <laughs> Don't let it split, honey. Believe me, Ann, I like y'all. Listen, the two of you, I like y'all so much. I'm pleased to be on this team. Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Our perceptions of masculinity and femininity are totally cultural. Absolutely. And are totally like human created. So our expression as drag artists, as people who like to build things, you know, they're gay lumber people. They're gay um, people who do construction. I love the outdoors, but these mosquitoes are really uh, eating my legs up, honey. They are eating me to death. I mean, I know I'm a snack, but Jesus Christ. I'm loving the sunlight as well. I mean, I really needed a tan, so this has been great for me. Attention, campers! Time's up! Put down your paintbrushes, boys and girls. Wow, campers, these sheds sure are something. Oh, Betty, they sure are. <laughs> we will announce which team had the best campfire shed at tonight's talent show. Oh yeah, and speaking of talent shows, tonight's theme is lumber sexual. Ooh. So be sure to amp up your camp. We'll see you there. <laughs> Eat, drink, and be merry, honey, at Hamburger Mary's, the premier spot for the drag queen entertainment, including our famous Dining with the Divas drag shows and our fabulous Weekend Mimosa brunch. Sink your teeth into a mouth-watering burger, hmm, delicioso, and wash it down with a signature Hamburger Mary's cocktail. Salud, honey! Visit HamburgerMary's.com to find a location near you. Be sure to make a reservation for your next night out. Until then, eat, drink, and be merry. Hasta luego! Good evening and welcome to tonight's Camp Wanakiki Talent Show where our campers will be earning their morning wood badge. Hey, speaking of morning wood, earlier today, our campers had some erections of campfire wood shelters. <laughs> well, I hope they still have some stamina for tonight's talent show, which is lumber sexual. Ooh, Ruthie, are you a lumber sexual? Listen, at my age, I'm a slumber sexual. <laughs> well, in that case, let's start the show. For the gal that likes it a little on the rougher side, my look takes it from all angles. My spin on Lumber Sexual takes us to a growing favorite to many, axe throwing. 
I'm a real catch as long as you're throwing sharp axes at these beefy targets, baby. I've got some pretty plaid habits, but just can't seem to turn the flannel. All the cool kids are ditching the outdoors and pitching axes inside. I am living this Kill Bill double axe fantasy, but I've got a splitting headache under this gorgeous jacked up mullet. This attitude is about to splinter. Hit the lumberjack and don't you come back no more. Do you miss the old morning wood? Performance anxiety got you lumberjacking it alone. Really want to make her beaver say damn? I don't get that joke. Have I got the product for you? Lumber Sexual Chewable Vitamins, a group of supplements for folks with penises who want to find out just how much wood their woodchuck could chuck if only they could get wood. We've got the classic Lumber Sexual Licorice Gummy for a firmer fir tree, the potent pulp peach gummy for thicker, more viscous maple syrup, if you will, and if you've had an erection lasting longer than four hours, the Timber Tincture, a delicious treat to help chop down that pesky pine. Don't wait. Order now for only 12 payments of $14.99. Shipping and handling your package not included. Salutations, you filthy submissive masochist. Mistress Couture present. I'll see you out there in the lumber yard, baby. How do you do? My name is Paula Onion. I used to be a log tugger, but now I'm a tree hugger. I was the fastest chop in the land. I could cut a log in half just by looking at it and make one disappear by sitting on it. Now I'm on that new dating app, Timber, but my dates won't stop trunk texting me photos of their logs. Log in, more like log off. I tell them to talk to the palm tree because this grandmother willow is no sappy stump. I'm just your ordinary dominatrix who's into some log role play. Today I'm here to discipline some naughty pine. Step into my lodge, grab your ankles, and breathe deeply while this beaver pelts you. And don't be such a sap. I know you can take it. If it gets to be too much, your safe word is maple syrup. But if you want me to turn it up, Aspen you shall receive. And if you're a good sub, I'll flog your log until you say, Oh yeah. And when you're done, I'll kiss you in all the right places. Just a fair warning, I use teeth. I appreciate this whole seduction thing you got going on, but let me give you the tip. I'm a redhead. <laughs> Early birds get the worm. I came for the sperm. I'm serving high in the sky hooker realness. And tonight, these STIs won't weigh me down. Oh, ah! you want a week with me at your pecking call? She needs seed money and a trip to the mall. I think we are overdue for an introduction to Wet Corvette's backwoods brother Dale. I don't like the spotlight. I like working with the land. Getting a good workout. Working with some heavy machinery. Breaking a sweat. How about tomorrow morning? You give me an extra hand. I'll teach you exactly what to do. I'm Wood Chippendale. <laughs> get it? Did you get? Ah, here. Let me break it down for you. Did somebody say tool time? I'm here with your lumber delivery and I'm ready to start erecting your deck. I have to say, these blueprints are looking good. Really good. Yeah, yeah, this one definitely has good bones. I could hammer that baby all night long. I'd really appreciate your dewy dogwood trees and I'll work by the hour. Hire me for all your handyman needs and I'll be thrilled to prune your bushes. Call 1-800-TREETOP today. Terms and conditions apply. I've never been a stranger to long, strong wood, and I love the taste of wood. I'd always get in trouble for playing with it after it was freshly cut. Me Ma said, don't waste good wood. My daddy was a woody. His whole life, all he made time for was wood. Long wood, short wood, wet wood. Mom says I'm beautiful, but my cousin Buffalo says I have a hormone problem. I told him I'm going to be like Lizzo and Hustlers. Tonight I'm going to audition at Lumberjack's Gentleman Club Amateur Contest. Wish me luck. 
Wow, ladies, what another great show. Really, honestly, it was so good. Nice and cozy and lumbery and sexually. Such variety of different yeah. looks. Great, so great, great looks, loved it. Who were some of your favorites? I think one of my favorites was Miss Rhapsody. <gasps> Bellini Ann. Bellini <laughs> Ann with that, she was like a cross between a Disney film and an acid dream. <laughs> The Daminatrix. I, I mean, <laughs> come on. She got the assignment. She was lumber, beaver, sexual. Got me all whipped up. Ooh. I liked I liked Bulimian a lot. Yeah. You know who else was really great? I thought America again with such a colorful, kooky, yes. campy over the top look. America thinks very much outside the box. Her whole idea is just pure camp and it's always entertaining. Her makeup skills are Amazing. Let's talk about the one and only, she need this gig. Wow. That was really, really uh, jaw, jaw dropping. I thought that was absolutely terrific. Oh, Great her. Her. And I love a good wig reveal. I also loved she need this gig. Damn. <laughs> Baby, she was a tomboy today. What I was worried about like was the whole construction of it and it being right, like structurally right. Yeah. Like, it wasn't gonna fall down or be right. weak. I think our biggest struggle was probably agreeing on an idea. Yeah, we were like, let's just build because it and we'll fucking figure like, it out. Psychedelic, great, stripes, great. And two minutes later, <laughs> we're like, okay, so where are we putting the polka dots? We're like, polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> we like built it pretty fast too, you know, I just laid out all the pieces and you two were banging and you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got that cat house built. The way I am, like, that's what's supposed to come naturally, right? That's <laughs> just how the nice do, though. Right, it's supposed to be like at Home Depot all the time, but <clears> like, <throat> I never learned that. So, yeah. it was so just so frustrating. So, can I stay like this? Because <laughs> honestly, mm, <laughs> my <laughs> pussy is it. worn out. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Girl, you were getting ready, and I saw you walk outside and say, I'm gonna grab a log. What did you do with that log on stage? I flogged it. You flogged it? Make it damn sexy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, damn sexy. I had a, a couple of campers that were sort of in the middle for me that mm -hmm. I was kind of a little disappointed in, maybe. Gilda had a fine look. It wasn't like over the top campy, but her story was really funny. It was an odd look for her. It looked like Zoe Deschanel and Woody Allen had a baby. The look tonight was, it was simple. I mean, the ass showing was obviously a nice treat, but, uh, but other than that, it was, it was kind of basic. Another uh, camper that, not, not in my bottom, but I just feel like, I, to, to bring it up, was Queen tonight. I felt was, kind of played it safe. The beard was a really cool touch. I thought Geneva was funny as usual. I thought she was great, very creative, fun take on the lumbersexual thing. I, I, I love her. I thought it was one of the better ones, but not at the top. Yep. For me, Geneva was in the middle. But now who do we think is at the bottom? Well, I'm a little bit concerned about our friend Rhett. He did surprise me with his story and the sexy dance and the long hair but I didn't think it was real campy. I was kind of confused at one point about what was going on. We've seen great things in a couple of days mm -hmm. from Rhett. I would agree. Um, so we know he has that potential. When he started to strip, the reveal almost wasn't there. Give us sparkle spanks or something. Rhett totally got into it. Yeah. The amp was, was completely missing. Another camper that I felt was kind of toward the bottom was Vivian. For me, Vivian just kind of missed the mark. The assignment was lumber sexual. And yeah, there was the lumber element, but there was nothing sexual. Well, let's talk really quickly about the daily activity today. Okay. Because this may help our decision. So we had team one, they had the best constructed it was shed. Actually, I wanted to move in there. Right? It was beautiful. Put in a sunroof and a hot tub, and God damn it, I got a new home. Well, I felt that the, the third group uh, had the most cohesive theme. I mean, the, the cat house. The cat house. With the cats. Definitely gave me a camp vibe. In the cat house, the cut out letters. No one else did cut out letters. Yeah. Now that middle one. Oh, Lord. Oof. They got to the point where they 
couldn't fix this mess that they had made, and so they just made lemonade out of lemon. But the story of it, I feel, was super cute. They, it's they, like, they gave up and they made it funny, which I thought was exactly. bright. Yes. Well, shall we call the campers back in? Let's go. I think so. All right. The winner of Camp Wanakiki will win an all expense paid trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, where you'll be featured as a headliner at the newest Hamburger Mary's. Hamburger Mary's Puerto Vallarta is located in the heart of the romantic zone in this tropical paradise. Get ready for margarita sipping on the beach and partying all night. You'll also enjoy free burgers for a year, compliments of Hamburger Mary herself. Oh, and pack an extra suitcase for that great big wad of pesos you just won. Total prize package worth $10,000. Adios mio, Mary. Campers, what a great talent show. It was excellent. I just, oh! I just came up with that, literally. You all look great tonight. But as you know, there are nine of you, but only eight morning wood badges, which means at the end of the talent show tonight, one of you will be taking a hike. Wait, but first, we need to announce the winning team from the Campfire Wood Shelter. Oh, yes. Well, campers, y'all gave us three g shelters. <laughs> Some were better than others, but they were all very, very colorful. So congratulations to the winning team, Meow the Cat House. Yeah! So congratulations, Gilda, Bulimian, and Queen for the winning wood shelter. Thank you. Thank you. All right, listen up as I call some names. Gilda Wabbit, Lucy Couture, Shanid This Gig, Geneva Convention, and Queen Faraz. Congratulations, you've all earned your morning wood badge. Yes. You campers can go chill out in the rec room while we talk to the top and bottom campers today. Thank you so much. Thank you, judges. Honey, let's just lay another day. Oh, when I tell you, this was the one that made you the most nervous. Okay. 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 We are all here. Flying above the bottom. I was really in my head earlier about this. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I was really, and I, and I thought it was funny, and I thought it looked nice, but I was like, please just understand, like, get what I'm doing. Right. And so to hear that I was safe, I was like, okay, okay. Same. I made it past the one that I thought was the most challenging, so now I can, like, enjoy myself. You know, I'm feeling kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, happy and, and both, like, apprehensive about what's gonna happen with the people out there. Um, I'm nervous for them, I guess. Um, because yeah. I mean, it's, those are my sisters and brothers. Right. And, right. Um, I feel like everybody really gave their all today. Hi, campers. Hello. How are you? How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty confused. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you four represent the top and the bottom to this week. We will talk to the top two first. So congratulations, America and Bulimian. Sorry, Vivian and Rhett, that means you're in the bottom today. So if y'all could wait backstage for just a minute. Of course. So hi, campers. Congratulations. Thank you. This is starting to be a recurring uh, the two of you. thing here. Lots of, lots of points in the first two days uh, went to you two for your looks. So uh, congratulations. Starting the week off really strongly. Thank you. I just want to say, America, you always have such great makeup skills. Uh, today you're giving us something that's completely different uh, that we have not seen from you before, but it's really fun, it's fresh, the colors are wonderful. Uh, totally different spin and campy take on Lumber Sexual, and I'm living for it. Thank you. And looks-wise today, probably, uh, you know, the campiest of, of all the campers. I mean, you came out and you're like, it was just like so silly. I mean, it was, but yet still sexual. You know, there was still like the lumber sexual was still there, you know? Uh, so it was, it was fun. It was, a, it was a delight to see. I think you just continue to surprise us. You're just really uh, strong when it comes to the talent night. So great job. Thank you. Yeah. Good job. Now, let's talk about that little beaver. Oh, oh my God, Lord. let's talk about your beaver. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little beaver? <laughs> That's a big beaver right a there. A big, fat That's beaver. Nice pelt. Oh. <laughs> I have to tell you, I could watch you beat your wood all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought this was just so entertaining and I thought that the costume was really terrific. I love like the dominatrix haircut. Dominatrix. 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 Giving us literal lumber beaver sexual dominatrix. So why don't you both talk just a little bit about what it's like to be not only in the top two today, but so far this week, have you gotten some extra points in each of uh, the day's activities? America, you first. I'm really grateful. I just love that I can show what I what I do, and I feel like in every look I try to encompass different aspects. You know, I love big hair, um, a so body. Do I. I love body, <laughs> and for some reason I just love anything mo like monochromatic. I know this is really monochromatic, but I love color stories. Well, your use of colors today is very pleasing, also, and the way you've tied in. Uh, the orange bits in to, to pull it into your hair too. So it's like, I definitely um, can see that thought was put into that. When I was constructing this, I thought, well, a lumber sexual, I, before I look anything up, <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna see plaid. <laughs> I said, what do I, what, what can I reference from just from that? And I was like, well, the only thing that I know is Paul Bunyan. That's the only <laughs> thing that I know from growing up. And then I was like, but what about his wife? Does he have one? Does he have an ex? Is he married? <laughs> you know? Does he pay child support? I hope he does. <laughs> you know? and, and, and that's where Paula Onion came from. And I was like, she needs a story too. Thanks for sharing her story. <laughs> Thank you. The world needed to hear it. Believe me in. You know, it's like being weird and a little bit on the darker side. So I thought, you know, dominatrix is the way to go. I knew too that there would probably be a lot of plaid in general. And so I'm like, what's another like good like wood references? Well, it looked like you were having the time of your life beating that wood. Oh, I love beating wood now. <laughs> Mine, the other campers. <laughs> wow, what's going on in that oh, camera? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna have to look at the footage later. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, you're not supposed to know about that. And you also got a nice little surprise uh, message yesterday, believe me, Ann. That must have been really special. I appreciate it very much. I you feel a lot more confident about being here. Oh, good. You both should be confident about being here because you're bringing us great looks so far every day. Um, great attitude every great day. Great attitude. But only one can win, right? Without further ado, we would all like to congratulate this talent show's winner, Bulimian Rhapsody. Thank you so much. Oh my Congratulations. Gosh. I'm gonna lose my teeth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've won $300 in cold, hard cash, baby. Now don't go blow it all in one place. Unless it's at the Camp on a Kiki merch store. Okay. So congratulations. You've both earned your morning wood badge. So you can go celebrate in the rec room. We'll see you at the badging ceremony. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, congrats, both of you. Oh, oh the tops. Of course they're the tops, bitch. Oh, be damn. They've been in the top all of the two runways already. Yes. Period. Okay, Welcome, queen. ladies. Hello. 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 Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So what was said? What's tea? Uh, um, I'm the dong. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah. Already knew. Uh, that's sickening. Congratulations. But they do want to see um, you two on the stage. Oh, I'm gonna stay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll let them know. Hold your gifts. Goodbye, baby. Sweet. I love you all. I love you. Love you, you know, I don't really have a reaction until I hear why I'm in the bottom two. If they say, you know, that everyone else was better, that's okay. And I really hope it's not just because it didn't work. Like, I think if they say that, I'm gonna just lose it, cause like, it's very out of my comfort zone because I like find, I feel I'm okay right in the middle between mask and femme, but a number, like I try to like be super mask and super femme. And if they say it doesn't work, that's kind of how I feel all the time. I feel like it doesn't work in me. I felt very strong uh, walking down to the talent show tonight. Um, I thought I had a, a very fun look, a very uh, unique spin on things. Um, if it, the judges didn't seem to, to like it or didn't seem to enjoy it, uh, I completely understand that. Um, I'm excited to hear critiques and see what happens. Um, I love Rhett dearly, um, but I need to be here. Um, I have so much left to prove, as I'm sure that Rhett does as well. Um, I have so much more to offer and so much more to give that I haven't been able to yet. We'll, s we'll see what happens out there. We'll see what happens. Vivian and Rhett. Two campy, campy campers. Unfortunately, as you know, you're in the bottom tonight, but you will always be tops in our books. Better be.
<laughs> Especially you, Rhett. <laughs> Vivian, how do you feel about your look tonight? I felt very good coming into it. Um, I, I felt very confident in this look. I thought it was a, a fun, different take on like, you know, your regular axe, lumberjack kind of thing. I felt very, very comfortable with it. Um, I tried to keep it a little sexual with licking the axes and things like that, uh, but maybe not as blatantly sexual as it, as it could have been or should have been. I enjoy this look a lot. I'm very happy with what I put on stage um, and this cast is uh, incredible. It had to be somebody tonight. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think you hit the target. <laughs> <laughs> for 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 my main critique was that you were very much missing the sexual for me. Gotcha. I mean, I got lumber, sexual, not so much. Gotcha. Uh, it was more just axe throwing. Gotcha. Yeah, and also just for, with both of you, it's just a comparison with everyone else. Uh, it's just tough competition. I mean, we said it last night, and we'll say it again. It's like this season, everyone just brought it. It's crazy. Ditto. I mean, we really are at a point where very early in the season where everybody in this cast is just so good that it is really just minor things already when it comes down to you know our final two and who does get a badge and who doesn't get a badge. So Rhett, how have uh, the past three days been up until this moment? Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, like these group of ladies, I think they just, they love what I'm they, they pick up what I'm putting down, and we just like speak the same language. I mean, I know Vivian from Ohio. We've actually done shows together. And when I met her, I'm like, oh, we're on the same page. <laughs> so, I mean, getting to the activities and getting to meet people, I mean, it's been a real pleasure. And how do you feel about your look tonight compared to everyone else? Uh, well, I think my gender expression in drag is pretty much right down the middle of mask and femme. And so I tried to kind of go on both ends of the spectrum, like way back, and then kind of still have that Rhett personality in it. I feel like tonight, like we have seen that Rhett personality a lot, and we've loved it. Tonight, I, we just felt that it was a little lackluster. Like we got what you were doing, and the, and the, the initial uh, lumber, like really creepy guy in the woods. And then, but then the strip tease, I was almost expecting more because of what I've seen from you so far. Like the reveal was not as spectacular as I felt it could have been. Yeah, we felt that, for, for me, I, I felt the amp was missing in the camp. Cause when you took, you, you pulled the, the pants off and then you just had shorts underneath, jean shorts. If they were sparkly. Well, uh, well, well that is true, but true. you know, <laughs> Betty wanted to see a Lincoln log dangling there or something, you know, well, uh, or, or something or sparkly sparkle or, spanks just... or something that you would not expect. You put so much into your performances, in, including today. I mean, you put so much into it and uh, it's been a did. pleasure to see you this whole week. But unfortunately, we do not have enough badges for everyone. So one of you will be taking a hike. And we have written on our chalkboards the camper that we feel should get the remaining badge. Ruthie, if you would like to start. Um, I thought that the remaining badge should go to Vivian. And I thought the remaining badge should go to Rhett with a little pie. Oh. And although you're a little spitfire and you can ride me all night long, Rhett, I did vote for Vivian. So close. Thank you, Vivian, and congratulations. You have earned your morning wood badge. You can go back to the rec room. Wait for the badging ceremony. <sighs> Doesn't get any easier, and I have to say, like, I met you, I think, in Austin. We both did. And just thought you were Amazing, fun, and so happy that you came to camp. I'm really happy you called me. <laughs> Call me again sometime. I just hope that these tears show you ladies that I'm a sensitive man in touch with my emotions. <laughs> and you can talk to me anytime. <laughs> and we will, soon. But for now, I'm sorry, you need to take a hike. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.
I know my hike hasn't started yet, but I have some things to think about. I thought I had that challenge down because that look was in my back pocket. I've done it for a couple years, but that's the thing. Um, I've done it for a couple years, and just in those few years, my drag has really grown into something different and something bigger. So maybe that's a good thing that I was called out on that, where, you know, if you're growing, keep going. I think I came here to win like everybody did, but most importantly, I came here to be seen, and not just be seen as rep, but be seen as a king, and to show the kind of things that kings can do. I felt on par with the queens here, and that was a good feeling, and I want other kings out there to know that you're on par with queens too. Whatever you want your drag to be, there are no limits, there are no boxes, you can do whatever the hell you want. If there's any place to do whatever the hell I want with my drag, it was Camp Wanakiki. So I'm glad I got to do it here. This gender clown will see you around. I'm gonna take the show on the road. Good morning, campers! Good morning, Ruthie! Today you'll be earning. God damn it. All right. What's God damn it? <laughs> First, we need to announce the winning team from the Campfire Wood Shelter Bat. Yes. But first, we need to announce the winning team from the Campfire Shelter Building. What the f? <laughs> the campfire, campfire Wood Shelter. shelter. Baby, I've been to Ohio. They're all bottoms, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You campers can go chill out in the rec room while we talk to the top and bottom campers today. Thank you all. Thank you. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic exit. compete with personality and there, there's a lot of personality here. I think she's like the one everyone needs to be watching. Absolutely. So. Y'all know I'm not with the gossip. But it was just like... Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> I'm like, girl, what you step up from terror? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't sure if it was like tacky in a good way, tacky in a bad way. Look who you are talking to. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a bush and I had to get in it. Right here on camera. Yeah. Oh, Mary killed this whole group. No, we can't do yeah. it. Oh, no, no, no. Blue walls! Oh, God, we've all been in our cabins too long. <laughs> 